Okay, now we're going to cover themes. This is a very big and very important section of WordPress because everybody wants a custom look and feel of their blog. It basically it is a signature, a personification of who they are as a person. And the way that you do that is you do that with a custom theme. Uh, there are a wide variety of themes available in WordPress. Um, we'll go over on how to add those in a minute. But this right here is a basic overview of how to manage your themes. Uh, if you click under the Appearance tab in your navigation and you go to Themes, this is where you're going to find your theme section. You're going to be able to view your current theme that you have activated, which is showing up on your actual blog right here. And you're also going to be able to see the other available themes that you have inside of your, uh, your actual themes folder on your site. Um, if you wanted to be able to take a look at different themes and without actually having to change your front end, you can click the preview link and it'll actually pull up an actual view of what the theme is going to look like. And you over here, if you want to, if you say, I do like that, you can click it and click activate, or you can click the X and get out of there. So if you want to delete the theme off there, that's not the default one. You can click delete, but this is not a trash situation where you can just restore it if you want to by clicking a link. Once you delete it off here, the files are gone off your server. So make sure you either have a backup or it's definitely something that you want to delete. Um, if you want to change it right here, you can click activate. A lot of different people will either use a Christmas theme or a different holiday based theme to kind of switch it up as the time goes on or maybe they're trying on a couple different themes so they activate different ones at different times. That is basically how you're going to be able to manage your themes within here. This is a very rough overview and we're going to go into the more, some of the more details in a little bit. And so the next section is how to add a new theme.